can use all sorts of measuring tools like calipers or a string, but I like to use the one that's already in my hand, the pencil. First, hold your arm straight out without bending the elbow. Bending the elbow will bring the measurement closer to your eye and increase the size. The measurement will be consistent if the elbow is locked. Two, tilt your head to bring your eyes as close as possible to the pivot point at your shoulder. This is important to keep the measurements consistent throughout the whole subject. If you don't do this, when measuring around the top of the pose, the pencil will be closer to your eyes. And when measuring around the feet, it will be farther from your eyes. This difference in the distance makes the measurements inconsistent. Keep your eye near the shoulder to minimize this. Three, close one eye. Here you can see that I'm using the measuring with your pencil technique to figure out how tall my rectangular prism is compared to other objects. I line up the tip of the pencil to the top of my rectangular prism and my thumb on the bottom. I do the same procedure to figure out how wide the shape is. By figuring out the width of the rectangular prism, I now can see how many lengths it takes in order to find the height, and it's a little under two. Always look at the relationship between one shape to the next in order to figure out the proportions. Figuring out the right angles of a shape is also incredibly difficult, so that's why I also use my pencil, which is a straight edge. I line up my pencil using the same technique as the measuring technique in order to find the angle, and then from there, I gently draw that angle on my paper. It's important to remember that your pencil should turn like the hands of a clock. The pencil should never be angled front or back. The pencil should always stay parallel to your shapes.